A few weeks ago my analog controller broke and so I ordered a new one, a Pico this time. The box contains a manual, the controller and its adapter. The controller contains rubber feet so it stays quite stable on the table. Let's connect the adapter and the cables for the connection of the tracks. The button turns smooth and noiseless. Let's see how my Locus will run with this controller. We will try a few different of them, some more modern recent Locos and other a bit older. This recent BR130 from Pico is running very smooth. It ran well on my older controller as well, but I must say it is doing slightly better on this one. Next up is this BR80 from Pico, a very basic model and it didn't run very smooth on my older controller. I think it is doing a little bit better on this one. Okay, time for a more serious test now. This rubber band locomotive from Pico is of course without gears, so um, it's very difficult to control it. And well, I must say there's not too much difference with my other controller. This locomotive won't improve, I think, on this controller. Let's also test a very old locomotive. This one is from 1967. And I must say, it seems to be a bit more smooth than this controller, than it was in my other one. To give you a feel of how smooth or not smooth the controller is working, we will do a small cap right now. Okay, let's make a summary of what we have experienced with this controller. The speed control is smooth and silent. 
the electrical connections are very easy to use. I have paid around 90 euros for this controller and there seems to be an issue with mine. It sometimes not immediately started working. I'm not sure if this is a problem. I will keep you informed maybe in one of the next videos. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please push the like button. See you next time. Bye-bye.